Good evening, morning, afternoon. This is Moritz with a podcast premiere. Well, no, I think I did an episode before with Rolf, but this is my first solo flight, so be kind. <laughs> anyway, today I want to talk a little bit about why it's so hard for most people to um, make money in trading and I think or not I think I'm pretty sure trading doesn't have to be that hard really from my own experience and from coaching and mentoring tons of other traders I know that trading doesn't have to be as hard and complicated as many people make it I know trading is a huge rabbit hole and <laughs> Whatever topic you choose, be it Elliott Wave Theory or Quantitative Trading or Technical technical Analysis or whatever, it's always a huge, huge and deep rabbit hole and you can get lost in there for years. It doesn't have to be that way, to be honest. Um, the, biggest, the biggest problem with trading for people is that a obviously it's such a vast field and b people don't choose the right trading plans for their um, lifestyle for their goals and for their personality so those are the three things that have to come together but firstly let's talk about the rabbit hole There will come a point in your trading career when you have learned enough that can be one month into your trading career absolutely and you already know enough to trade profitably but you don't want to believe it you think you have to learn more and more and more you think there has to be a holy grail somewhere i know it from my own experience the stuff that I use these days for trading is very simple, it's trend lines, it's levels, it's Fibonacci's, um, some elite wave theory applied, that's pretty much it. Some price action, traditional price action patterns. So you can learn all of that stuff in a week. You can learn all of that stuff in a day to be honest. But then the problem is that you think it cannot be that simple. It cannot be that easy and then you keep learning and reading and consuming and learning from new gurus spending your money on all those courses and so on it's not gonna help your trading career at all it's only gonna help your ego at least for me it did because in the end I knew okay now I know everything about trading <laughs> I mean I still don't know and I will never know any, everything there is about trading but I'm pretty knowledgeable and when a trader talks to me about hey I'm trading this and this style I'm trading this as a class I'm trading at this time frame I I'm trading this uh, Renko chart tick charts I'm using this software whatever I know everything I know all of it no one can talk shit to me I know everything about trading because I was one of those guys I wanted to learn everything but in the end I came back to the very very basics I'm using the first trading software I used w way back many many years like a decade back when I came into trading I'm using the same trading software I'm using the same concepts everything is the same I just made a huge um, how to say extra I, I I took the extra mile right the uh, confirmation for my ego it wasn't necessary but I did it and the good thing for me was that I was already trading profitably but while I was doing that I was still looking for other things to improve my strategy and um, yeah boost my confidence and so on but in the end I noticed that 
What really matters is not that you know everything or that you have the best tools or whatever. What really matters are the other two things I mentioned and that's having a trading plan. That's number one. That A fits your lifestyle and B fits your personality. And that's it. That's pretty much it. So it has to create the least amount of friction um, for you to be able to execute it and for you to be able to feel awesome about it. Because trading in the end, I mean, it's about ego. Um, let's be honest. You want to feel awesome when you put on a trade. You're the cool day trader or you're the awesome swing trader. You want to feel proud when you talk to your girlfriend, your family about it or whatever. Um, how awesome you are as a trader and if you have a trading style that fits your personality 100% that's pretty much achieving that style uh, that that uh, thing that when you talk about your own trading you're like oh man I'm I'm super happy with what I'm doing I'm fulfilled I have meaning in my life and that's because I have a trading plan that fits me personally and it helps me achieve my goals and on the other hand trading style that fits your a trading style that fits your lifestyle is also super important if you are a 9 to 5 worker a traditional 9 to 5 worker you can't be a day trader it just doesn't work obviously you can become a day trader later when you quit your job because you make enough money as a swing trader or as a daily charts trader to quit your job then you have all the time in the world you can still try that day trading thing um, but to be honest if now right now you're working a nine to five job well chances are you're not gonna make it as a day trader either you come home after work really really battered and tired you have to take care of your family your kids your wife your whatever <clears throat> but all you want to do is jump on the on, onto the couch and have a beer <laughs> and in the end you um, make a lot of mistakes executing your trade plan your trading plan so it might be better or it's definitely better for you to be a swing trader get up early in the morning 5 a.m execute your entries your positions make your watch list on the weekend that's it and you're not gonna make a lot less money than a day trader to be honest because as a day trader we definitely cannot take on as much risk as a swing trader for day trading i never risk more than 0.25 or 0.5 of my bankroll because the hits come so fast and so close to each other that it can really mess with your mind if you lose two or three trades in a row for swing trading it's different if I lose one trade this week and I lose one trade next week and they are both at one percent I don't really care at all but if I lose two or three percent in a day that's a different story so you can risk more money psychologically as a swing trader at least for me that's the case so I'm not making less or more money as a swing trader than as a day trader it's pretty much the same I'm just taking less trades fewer trades as a swing trader so think very closely think very precisely about a what is your lifestyle right now B what are your goals? See what is your personality? How patient are you? How quickly can you think on your feet? Stuff like that. And then you have to wrap your training plan around that. And don't jump to the next guru. Don't jump to the next strategy. Don't do any of that stuff when you have your first two or three losing trades. I'm telling you 10 losing trades in a row is absolutely normal for any trading strategy every single trading strategy on the planet is going to have 10 losing trades in a row minimum at least for systematic discretionary traders don't act from a place of emotions 
stick to your trading strategy, commit to this plan, write into your trading plan, I'm going to commit to this, this next six months, no matter what, unless I'm losing 30% of my bankroll or what, something like that, where you have a hard trading stop, and then you go with the flow. And you will quickly see that when you stick to a trading strategy and a trading plan that fits your lifestyle, that fits your personality, that fits your goals in life, there's going to, going to be so much less friction and it's going to be very, very easy for you to execute that plan and turn a nice profit each and every month, each and every quarter. Why not? I'm doing it. I'm not the smartest guy on the planet. <laughs> I'm pretty sure many of our listeners are smarter than me. So you can do it too. Just stop going down the rabbit hole, start making money, and then enjoy life. I'll talk to you in the next episode. Ciao.